Hey guys, it's Paul here. Uh, I just wanted to bring you the latest update from the RAS Titanic. Here you can see we are on Scotland Road. Uh, Scotland Road was one of the largest areas of the original Titanic. In fact, this was used by crew and third class passengers to navigate the very core of the vessel. Uh, so we've built this fairly authentically, and in fact, you can walk from Scotland Road down to the engine room. And I'm really proud of the engine room, which is why I want to show you this now. Um, we've built this to a point where engineers and RAS officers uh, of the ABAC Generation 1 collection can actually uh, control the engines. So, of course, the engines control the propellers. Uh, and this keeps the whole vessel um, sailing on. So if you have an RAS officer, you can then be in charge of these engines. You are therefore responsible for the entire ship. Um, and this is just one of those cool little areas that we've built. I mean, this took seven weeks to completely build. Uh, just the level of detail in this is completely insane. I mean, look at those engines. Um, they are beautiful. I've never seen anything like that before in any kind of 3D game, but we're able to do this via Second Life's physics function. Um, so let me show you what happens when you start controlling these engines. So in the engine room, here we are, in the main area. Uh, there are the engines turning around, uh, Titanic's famous engines. There's the telephone, just in case we hit an iceberg ride. Um, but then you have this telegraph. Uh, so the ship's telegraphs essentially controlled the speed, but we put them in here so you can turn the engines off or on. Uh, so changing the lever up or down there, that actually controls the engine behind you, and eventually this will come to a grinding halt. Now there's different speed uh, formats on there, so obviously you can go really fast, uh, depending on um, how quickly you want to reach your metacruising destination, of course. But it's important that you see this detail that we've spent months building behind the scenes with this. Uh, very soon, we're going to get our beta testers. Uh, if that's you, then congratulations. Uh, but we're going to get you guys into the RAS Titanic to give us some initial feedback because, of course, we feel it's important uh, that our holders have a say in the development of this amazing vessel. Uh, so we're anticipating releasing this early next year. Uh, it will be open to testers by the end of the year. Um, and of course, this will be much earlier than the anticipated April deadline. Uh, so this is being built largely by myself. You know what I'm like, guys. I like to put in the hard work. Uh, this is why I've been so busy and I've not been around on Discord as much lately uh, because I've been building your Titanic <laughs> um, and I've had help with some other uh, expert builders in Second Life um, and actually, you know, building has been a great pleasure. It's been great going off of the original ship's blueprints. Here we are back on Scotland Road again. Uh, this is just amazing, the level of detail here. Of course, all of these rooms will be uh, crew quarters or uh, passenger quarters within the lower depths of the deck. Uh, so look forward to welcoming you aboard, guys. Uh, we'll have another update very, very soon. Take care, all, and a very happy holidays to everyone. Uh, Christmas is only a few days away, guys.